Got a TPMS light that won't go away. The TPMS may need to be recalibrated. I'll show you how. Let's get to it. We're going to be calibrating the TPMS on this 2019 Honda Accord. Before we actually do the calibration process, why do we have to calibrate this TPMS system? If you've had a car with TPMS before, you probably never had to calibrate it. Well, older vehicles used an actual TPMS sensor like this mounted inside the tire and wheel assembly. And it would actually sense the air pressure inside there, you know, the tire pressure, and it would send that information over to the vehicle. And so if it dropped too low, it would sense that, turn your TPMS light on, and then once you added air, and usually as soon as you start driving, it senses the new air pressure that, you know, correct, and it would turn that light off. Well, now, the newer systems, like this uh, Honda Accord here, they use what's called an indirect TPMS system, so they no longer use these sensors. Instead, they rely on other different sensors and inputs into the various control modules to determine what the air pressure is in these tires. And in all honesty, it's just doing its best guess based on all the inputs it's receiving. It's using various, you know, different sensors like the G sensors in the vehicle and your steering angle and whether your foot is on the brake pedal. But a couple of the more important players or inputs that it's receiving are the actual uh, wheel speed sensors, the signal that's going in telling it the speed of each wheel, all four of them, and the outside air temperature. So it's taking all those and it's doing, you know, some math and it's figuring out what it thinks is the air pressure inside those tires. And so when it sees something it doesn't like, it sets the TPMS light. And, you know, most of the time it gets it, gets it right, but sometimes it gets it, wrong, gets it wrong and we have to calibrate it. Now, a lot of times it can't figure out what the correct tire pressure is when work was done on it. Like the tires were rotated or we added or took out a bunch of air from the tire. Things like that. When the system has been worked on, we need to recalibrate it. And if you don't, it can set your TPMS light. And that is what happened to this vehicle. This vehicle went into the shop. I think it went to a Honda dealer. And they rotated the tires, may have even adjusted the tire pressure, and they did not start the calibration process. And so um, when the vehicle senses that, typically after about 20 minutes of driving, if it continues to see the same problem, then it sets that TPMS light, and that TPMS light stays on. It won't go off until we um, do the calibration process. If your vehicle is equipped with a TPMS system, you can typically tell whether it's direct or indirect by looking at the valve stems right here. This one has an indirect system, and you can tell because it's rubber. Because it doesn't have, you know, a TPS sensor in there. If it has a TPMS sensor in there, they'll typically look like this and be metal. So you won't be able to move it all around. So that's an easy way to tell, do I have a direct system or an indirect system? Okay, so now we know a little bit more of why these systems need to be calibrated. Let's go ahead and start that calibration process. Now before we get started, we have to make sure that our tire pressure is set to the cold tire pressure inflation values that are listed by the manufacturer. And typically we can find those inside the door jam, like this vehicle right here, front and rear, 32 PSI cold tire pressure. And so we need to make sure that all four of our tires are set to 32 PSI on this vehicle. And they are, and it has to be, you know, when they're cold, basically meaning the car hasn't been driven for three hours. Now typically on these TPMS indirect systems, when it senses a problem, it turns on a nagging reminder here that won't go away. Well, it'll go away, but every time you turn the vehicle on, it comes back and it says TPMS low pressure warning or low tire pressure warning, something to that effect. And it also sets a trouble code inside the engine computer or one of the computer modules. Uh, I think it's a C0077 if I remember correctly. And neither one of those will go away until we start the calibration process. In this case, on this vehicle, I already started the calibration process and it's okay to start it again. Uh, second time, it's no problem. And so when I turn the vehicle on, we won't see the reminder and we won't have that C0077 code in there anymore. Um, that's one way to get rid of it, just start the calibration process. Um, but what we do want to look for right now, when I, um, all I'm going to do is hit the button twice and make our vehicle come alive. But I'm not going to start the vehicle, so I'm going to keep my foot off the brake. But we want to look for our TPMS light right over here. We want to see it come on for about two seconds and then go off. And that basically just means the system's doing a quick systems check. If it doesn't see any issues, it'll go off after two seconds. And so we'll just hit the button once. Now we'll hit it again. There's our light right there. 
and it went off very quickly so that's a good sign that right now it's not sensing any in, um, any problems and also we don't have that nagging reminder for the TPMS right now now because I did start the calibration process a, a good way to check if it's still in that calibration process which in this case this car is is after 45 seconds as long as we don't put the car in drive or anything like that or turn the vehicle on as long as we don't do anything after 45 seconds that TPMS light will come back on and it'll come on for two seconds and then go off and that means we're inside the calibration process so that's how we can check so as soon as we're right here I'll just show you how you can check and make sure that you're actually inside the calibration process and there we go it came on and then it went back off so that means this vehicle right now is inside the calibration process now how do we start that calibration process we don't even need a scan tool we go right here to our information unit or whatever the heck they call this display and we go to our clock menu button or in some uh, models it'll be a home button but we hit that and then we're going to go to settings so we just turn the dial and then press for settings and then we should look for vehicle settings so we'll have to scroll down and go to vehicle settings there it is right there we'll press the button and there it is the first one TPMS calibration so we'll press it again and we can either choose cancel or calibrate so in this case we want to calibrate just like that and calibration has started so that's a good sign now that's all we have to do and then we have to drive under certain driving conditions in order to complete the calibration because I showed you how to um, how we can tell whether we're inside the calibration process by looking for that light after 45 seconds but how do we complete it well we basically have to drive the car normally between um, about 25 miles per hour to 65 miles per hour basically on straight roads and it doesn't all have to be at one time you can drive the car normally and after you fulfill that it will pass the calibration as long as it doesn't sense any issues and then you're done we don't have to do anything else now sometimes it learns incorrect calibration if somebody did this TPMS calibration with the wrong tire pressure or things like that it's gonna fool the system and it's not gonna know what's going on so in that case what we can do is we can do this calibration three times in a row waiting five seconds in between at least five seconds so as long as it's been five seconds we can do it again we can calibrate it and calibration started now we can wait five seconds after that goes away and then we start it a third time and after you do it a third time that erases everything so it has no more memory of any previous calibrations and it'll start brand new so as long as we have our tire pressure set correctly and everything else is working then we should be good to go now another thing I want to point out in order for this um, this system to work properly it uses the outside air temperature so we need to make sure that our outside air temperature is reading correctly in this case it's roughly 65 degrees in the shop and so as long as we're you know within reason is if this was like minus 40 then that's going to cause an issue and you know cause our TPMS light to come on and it can also cause that C0077 trouble code so you might be troubleshooting the TPMS system and in reality you need to replace the outside air temperature sensor because that's the issue so that's a big key we want to do that we want to start our TPMS calibration. Now this vehicle just needs to be driven for approximately 20 minutes between 25 and 65 on a straight road and then the calibration will be complete. When the calibration is complete that light will not come on after 45 seconds so if we just turn the key on like we did it'll do its two second check and then go out and we wait 45 seconds and then that light does not come on again that means calibration is finished and the car is good to go. So that's what we're looking for. We want to drive this car and then we want to look after we turn, you know, the vehicle on and not put it in the drive or drive it and wait 45 seconds. We want to make sure that that light goes out and stays out. If it does, we're good. Now for this to be successful, it's extremely important that that tire pressure is set correctly like I told you before, the cold tire pressure inside the jam. So if the system likes everything it sees, then once we do our 20 minutes of driving between 25 miles per hour and 65 miles per hour then the calibration will be complete now technically it's not 25 to 65 it's actually 22 to 65 but you get the picture as long as we're driving between 22 ish and 65 
in a straight line and we're not accelerating, we're not braking, and if the system likes everything it sees, then the calibration will complete and you're good to go. Now, if it sees something it doesn't like, then after 20 minutes of driving, it's going to turn that TPMS light back on. And so, why does that happen when I've set my tire pressure perfectly? Well, it has memory in the system. And so, if somebody did it at an incorrect time or didn't do it properly before you tried to do it, it's, even if you did everything perfectly, it's going to turn that TPMS light back on. That's why Honda gives us that special calibration where we do it three times in a row, waiting five seconds in between. And although I wasn't able to show it on the vehicle, when it enters that special calibration mode, when you do it three times in a row, the TPMS will blink once. And that indicates, okay, we're now in special uh, calibration mode and we've forgotten all the memory that we know about. So then we can start from zero. So sometimes you have to do that if somebody has not done it properly in the past because these systems are so finicky, everything has to be perfect. And other reasons why it won't um, complete the calibration and will still give you that TPMS warning, if your tires are uneven, um, say you've replaced some tires and you, but only half of them, you got two new tires and two old tires, the system may not like that and may not complete that calibration process. Or if you have one tire that's really bald and the rest of them are good, once again, because of the math it's doing, it may not like that. So in any event, if the video helped you out, you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.